What's up, guys? It's Ducky, back with another story. This time, a middle school story. The time I told my teacher to go fuck himself. It all starts off, it was woodwork class. I'm sitting there doing my woodwork. Just finished polishing my wood. Yeah, I know you guys are going to turn that into something perverted. But anyways, I finished polishing my work. Damn straight. I was feeling good. I walked up. I showed my teacher. This teacher, not gonna, like, I'm gonna let you guys know, he had a lazy eye, and I could never tell where the fuck he was looking. And he was, he looked at my project, and he was like, this is a piece of shit. I shit you not, he just said that. Such a rude motherfucker. He's just like, what a piece of shit, and just grabbed my project and hucked it in the fucking garbage. And I was just devastated. I was like, oh, I worked so hard on that. I just finished polishing it, and it was, like, glorious, and, like, all smooth. And he just hucks it in the trash. And he's done this to other people's projects. He's even thrown things at students. He's flipped a desk before. This teacher is a fucking nut. So he's just yelling and yelling. And I couldn't help but say, are you looking at me or are you fucking, are you talking to me or are you talking to the corner of the wall over there? Where are you looking? Because of his lazy eye. And everybody in the class is just like, oh, the nuthead teacher is like yelling at me that I'm not taking my work seriously, which I was like, I'm a fucking kid. That's the best woodwork I can do, sir. Calm your fucking tits. And he's saying, he literally said, if I'm not going to take the work seriously to get the fuck out of his class. He swore at me. And I was just like, completely astonished. I was like, all right, fuck you. I'm going home. So I walked out of the class, sticking my middle finger up and I got into the hallway and I, I was straight up going home. I was like, fuck this. I'm going home. Walking down the hallway, got my bag on and the counselor actually saw me. And she's like, hey, come into my office. She pulled me into her office and she told me that I can't go home and all this shit. And then he ended up getting it off. Fuck load of shit because you can't just tell a student to go the fuck home. You can't just swear at a student. Students aren't allowed to like leave mid-class like that. You're not allowed to tell them to especially. So he got in so much shit the next day. Um, that I ended up not having to go back to that class again because he was like... I, I told her that, like, the teacher scared me, so I was like, ah, I didn't have to go back to that shit. And I guess he had, like, a couple days off after that for, like, he had to go on leave because he had a, a like, kind of meltdown and yell, swore at a student. And when he got back from that leave, he had to come apologize to me. He had to take me out of the hallway and say how sorry he was and that he was just having a bad day and that he was angry at his, he was angry, having fights with his wife. was what, And so he was having troubles at home. And I was like, okay, kind of. It was like all settled then. I just didn't have to go back to that class, and everybody pretty much knew me as the kid who told the teacher to go fuck himself. And it, it was a pretty great time. It was like a year I was known as the girl who told the teacher to go fuck himself. If at any point you felt like telling a teacher to go fuck himself, please like this video because I did it, and it was fucking great.